Welcome cloud gamers to another Stadia news video in which we got brand new information on the new pro games coming out for April. But not only that, we have some information I didn't get to fit into my last video, like Doom 64 being free and a new game sale that appeared on the Stadia store. So my goal with this video will be to inform you if these games are good, if they are worth your precious time and hard earned cash. Also, with one of the titles being Serious Sam, I will be holding a live stream around 3 p.m. Pacific time on the 1st of April to play the online multiplayer portion with you, the community. So I hope to see you guys there. With that said, let's get into this video. First, let's talk about Doom 64 being free. On Twitter, it was announced by the Stadia team that the game will arrive this spring and will be free for those who purchase Doom Eternal before April 3rd. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Doom 64, it is a classic title that came out back in 1997 on the Nintendo 64 that has been well revered now for decades. If you have purchased Doom Eternal on Stadia, you will be getting this free. Otherwise, the game has been listed at $4.99 on every other platform including the consoles and PC, and it's also been stated that it will come out this spring, so that is going to be really soon. So if you're interested in this title, but not Doom Eternal, hopefully we will see it at that $4.99 price. Next up, we have NBA 2K20, and I think this game's been on sale for 20 times or so. The game has officially been the one that's gone on sale the most on Sadia since its inception, and the prices here are $19.80 for the base version, $26.40 for Deluxe, and $33 for the Legend Edition. And by now, if you haven't heard my take on this, essentially this is not a good title to pick up. If you're looking to play the My Career part of it, the grind is pretty brutal to level up your character to where he doesn't suck. And because of that, the game almost encourages you to purchase with real money the currency called VC to level up your My Player faster. If you're not interested in that part of the game, though, the basketball itself with the normal 5-on-5 is extremely top-notch, though I'd be careful to bother with the My Team portion of this game, as that can turn into a pay-to-win real fast as well. All in all, this game has essentially my thumbs down, and the game port from last year was down at 3 bucks on all consoles at one point, and I'd expect a sale like that with 2K20 sometime down the line. So hold off as much as you can if you're really interested in this title. As for the last part of this video, the games that have been announced for April are here, and I was quite happy personally, and I will have videos of the gameplay of those games that I've covered in the past in the description below. But let's first talk about Serious Sam Collection, a fun chaotic blast featuring a bunch of separate titles from the Serious Sam franchise. The gameplay is essentially you going on a fun rampage of pure mass death of monsters. Quite frankly, it's a blast and a title I enjoyed covering and playing on Stadia. It runs well and the multiplayer will be a blast as well as you can take on the monsters together in a pack. This is easily the most exciting title of the group and I think you guys are going to get a kick out of the fun gameplay you'll have here. Next up is Spitlings, a really fun indie game that is extremely challenging. The team over at Massive Mini Team did an excellent job with this, and I'm glad this is a pro game because a lot of you will get to experience this firsthand and see their excellent work. It's a unique game with a classic arcade take where you take these little Spitling creatures and you take out blobs to advance the level. It features full co-op online or couch co-op as well. The multiplayer here is a blast with a twist if one of you or your own team dies, the entire team loses. I've gotten to play some local couch co-op with my wife, someone who doesn't game at all, and she loved it. So this is easily a family casual fun game I recommend giving a try to. Kudos to the team over at Massive Mini Team for creating such a fun family game. Last on this list is a game that I haven't played yet, and that is Stacks on Stacks on Stacks, another indie puzzle title where you are a 3D tower builder named Master Stacker Rocket who uses her psychic helmet to clean bricks that fall over Madcap World. While you're doing that though, you'll have a ghost dragons, and all sorts of obstacles trying to stop you from building your tower. 
This looks like a fun, quirky title that I personally can't wait to suck at playing. I think this will be another solid title for us pro users to experience with the family and just have fun. With all that said, this is looking to be a fun April with more new games coming on the horizon to Stadia. And with a lot of us being stuck indoors, the team over at Google and Stadia are doing an excellent job keeping us occupied. So I personally appreciate that. Now, if you guys could do me a huge favor, hit the like button, hit that notification bell if you haven't already, and sub to the channel for more Stadia coverage. I'm Sunny at Cloud Gaming X, and like always, I'll catch you guys in the cloud.